Deputy Prime Minister John Rosso is confident that Pangu Party will form the next government, welcoming the re-elected governor for West New Britain, Sassindran Mutuwell, and MP for Nakanai, Francis Galia Maneke. Today, Rosso said Pangu is intact and the numbers are increasing steadily. A lot of people have said innuendos about Pangu uh, rigging the elections, uh, Kankan Tok Tok Lam. You can see now sitting here, a couple of our members have really struggled to come home against all odds. They've uh, tried to make it. We have lost some uh, senior Pangu members in the likes of John Simon, the Honorable John Simon, uh, Honorable Kennedy Wenger, Honorable Benjamin Phillip, <coughs> Honorable Emil Tamur. So those seats, uh, some of them have been won by other parties. So. We, we don't control the elections. The elections are run by the Electoral Commission. The Deputy Prime Minister also admitted that the government needs to do more in the electoral process going forward to hold certain candidates accountable on the wrongdoings instigated by their supporters during the election. More to improve our electoral process. We have to move when we get into government again. That is one of the first tasks we'll be doing to ensure that the electoral process, we improve on it, to ensure that our people uh, can vote fairly equally uh, across uh, the board in our country. And also at the same time, during formation of government, we are sitting and looking at how we as a government can improve. We as a government can improve our people's lives for our children and for our country working towards uh, a better Papua New Guinea for all of us. Rosso also appealed to all the candidates and supporters to respect the electoral process and not to participate in the violence acts. West New Britain Governor Sassindran Mutuwell called on all candidates and supporters to observe the election process fairly and transparently. Freddie Mo, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.